Welcome to the Port of Asus Turtle Monitoring Project. We have an important role in the conservation of sea turtles. Out of seven species registered in the world, five are found on the Brazilian coast. Brazil has a priority area for sea turtle reproduction, running from northern Rio de Janeiro state to northern Rio Grande do Norte state. The northern coast of Rio de Janeiro state has 100 kilometers of beaches used annually for reproduction by thousands of turtles, especially loggerheads. Out of these 100 kilometers, 62 kilometers of beaches are monitored by our team. Every day, we cover the beaches in the region, recording turtles' reproductive and non-reproductive events, deploying qualified staff chosen by the communities and specialized technicians. Between September and March, turtles mate in reproduction areas. After that, males return to feeding areas and females move on to our beaches to lay their eggs. They lay eggs three to seven times during the night, averaging 120 eggs in 14-day intervals approximately. Beginning the monitoring work in the early hours of the morning, our team searches for nests, followed by tracks left by females in the sand. After nests are located, they are identified, numbered, and checked daily during the entire incubation period. Hatchlings are born in 45 to 60 days and only reach reproductive age at 25 to 30 years old, when males and females return to their birthplace to mate and start a new cycle of life. The project includes vet service, rehabilitating and reintroducing these animals to the sea environment. It is estimated that for each 1,000 turtles who are born, just one or two reach adulthood. The main threat to them is still predatory and responsible actions by humans. Destruction of hatchling areas on the coast, motor vehicles driving on beaches, fishing nets, fishing hooks, Plastic ingestion and growing ocean pollution may cause decline in marine species, including turtles. There is another very important factor. Most of the time, hatchlings are born at night and move toward the sea, guided by the light in the horizon. Photo pollution from artificial lights disorients them and prevents the tiny turtles from reaching the sea. For this reason, structures in the Port of Asu use special lighting criteria that reduce disorientation among hatchlings. Since the beginning of its activities, the project has released more than one million baby sea turtles to the sea. To preserve marine turtles is to ensure the survival of thousands of life forms, including human life. It is everyone's responsibility. Like ships, marine turtles travel every ocean in the planet. Like ships, they need a safe inland place to ensure a continuation of their species. Providing this safe heaven is part of our job. Thank you for visiting.